this is a publicly confirmed tornado and you can see it right there on the ground so at this point it's very difficult for anyone to determine what you know what strength the tornado is only because uh, you have to go out there and do forensics and see if there's going to get any damage on that when i mean forensics the national weather service is going to go out there and take a peek at what has happened now if we have an ef0 ef1 ef2 which is like we normally get around here that potential could be knocking down some uh, you know a fence posts could be knocking down of course you know roof tiles off of a roof and right through here you can kind of see some of the bend in the rotation and right through here is of course the tornado warning now we're going to go to the national weather service and um, again just introduce yourself for us and again tell us because this is moving such great speed this warning is going to expand most likely am i correct well the, you're right Dave. This, this is eric curtis here with the national Hi. weather service in sacramento and yes it is a very rapidly moving tornado uh and we uh we're observing on radar like you are, and we've, we've gotten some reports from spotters, and uh, one of our employees is also out tracking it and saw a funnel, and then we've been seeing the uh, photographs also of the touchdown. Right. Now, at this point, because it's moving so rapidly, does that affect potential damage as a result, or does that help to uh, intensify it, maybe bring it up to an EF2 where we normally would have like an EF0? Well, it's hard to guesstimate the strength of it at this point, but it's certainly uh, the forward speed can add to the wind, so uh, that can add to the damage. But, yeah, it's, it's way prem premature to estimate which strength of the storm would be at this point. And people in that area need to heed this and take this seriously. I mean, any time that we talk about tornado warnings, and uh, Eric, I know you're going to probably confirm with this, we live in a place where we get very weak tornadoes, but even a weak tornado, can really do some damage if it hits like an outbuilding or a fence or anything like that, correct? Absolutely, yeah. It can fling debris. We've seen cases where uh, fences have been flung through and, and blown through windows. So, yeah, anything can become an airborne missile and can be dangerous, especially if you're outside exposed to it. Right, which is, again, why we always say, and you say in your, your warnings, you know, go to an interior room, stay away from the windows, because that's someplace that you're going to want to, you're, you're thinking, I want to take a picture, but you don't want to be doing that, even when we have the weaker tornadoes here. And our tornadoes are fairly weak because, our, you know, we just do not have the, the height to these thunderstorms. They're 25,000, 30,000 feet tall. But what's interesting about this is we had a bit of uh, directional shear, but we had a lot of speed shear with this, which means a lot of speed changing in the upper atmosphere, correct? Yeah, there's... Today, there's a tremendous amount of wind shear going on, and uh, so we expected some spinning storms, and we've seen a few, uh, and also a lot of just sheer speed movement with these, these storms are moving very quick. So I would say uh, people really shouldn't try to look out the window. It's moving so quickly, it would be on you uh, very, very fast, so people need to get away from the windows avoid that temptation to look outside and get into an interior room just like you mentioned. And I know and one last thing here and a lot of people think you know coming off the valley floor it goes into the foothills the foothills are kind of breaking up but that's not always true is it? No sometimes these can persist into the foothills so that there can be danger there as well. All right very good thank you so much Eric from over at the National Weather Service